welcome to VTeach. Now we will be discussing about a particular concept which has been present in uh, Jain TV Anantapur and Hyderabad syllabus that is in what way the radio wave is going to bend or reflected in the ionosphere region. So here uh, that concept has been explained with respect to the refractive index. So here the bending of radio waves on the ionosphere will always been understood in terms of radio uh, refractive index formula that is mu equal to square root of kr which is equal to square root of 1 minus 81 n by f square where n defines the ionic density and f defines the frequency. This equation shows that the refractive index of ionosphere is always less than unity because 1 minus so it is always less than unity and it is going to become uh, greater when the ionic density is going to be high or the frequency is going to be low. If I am having a condition f square less than 81 n then the refractive index becomes very imaginary in which radio waves are said to be attenuated and they will not be able to transmit or bend the radio waves. So for proper bending of the radio waves in the ionosphere region we need to follow the Snell's law. So Snell's law defines as the refractive index is always defined on the basis of incident ray to the reflected ray that is mu equal to sin i by sin r. So if mu is less than unity then the incident ray so the angle of incidence is always less than the angle of reflection. So in that way we are going to encounter some radio, uh, rarer mediums. So the successive layers of ionosphere are of higher electron density in this pattern that is if n6 is greater than n5 is greater than n4 so this is just a descending order is been there from top layer to the bottom then refractive index goes on decreasing from bottom to the top so that is uh, we will be saying that ascending and descending order will be followed here if mu m be the refractive index and n m be the maximum radio uh, electron density then at a point p we will be able to say that the point of reflection is going to be occurred that is mu m equal to sin i m that is mu m is said to be as the maximum refractive index where the angle of incidence is equivalent to this refractive index at that particular condition we are going to encounter the point called point of reflection. So here the reflections are going to be takes place and written back to the earth and uh, they will be having a slight penetration and thus they are going to reflected back to the earth. The smaller the angle of incidence we will be having the smaller refractive index which implies that the electronic density is needed to be returned to the radio wave towards the earth and if the angle of incidence, uh, incidence is reduced to zero that is we will be saying that it is a vertical incidence that is going to be happen. So in this vertical incidence we will be having zero reflection. So that is uh, directly we can say that there is no reflection that is going to be occur if the angle of incidence is zero. So this always uh, this layer corresponds to with respect to the electron density that is going to be present and we need to calculate the critical frequency in reaching that point of reflection. Remember we need to calculate the critical frequency in reaching the point of reflection to have the uh, reflected rays back to the earth. So the first uh, term is critical frequency that we need to consider. So it is the highest frequency which can be reflected back by a particular layer. Here particular layer is nothing but ionosphere ray layer. So that ionosphere layer is going to have the vertical incidence and it is always denoted by F0 or Fc and it is different for each layer. Remember that the critical frequency differs from layer to layer and it is always proportional to the square root of maximum electron density. So each layer is going to have different electron, de electron densities based on that we are going to have this particular critical frequency region. So 
here also we will be explaining this critical frequency concept in terms of refractive index that is mu equal to sin i by sin r equal to square root of 1 minus 81 n by f square. So, at vertical incidence the angle of incidence is considered to be 0 and electron density is maximum and f is said to be as critical frequency and if angle of incidence goes on decreasing and reaches to 0 electron density it will be goes on increasing and reaches to maximum and the highest frequency that could be reflected back by the ionosphere by for which refractive index always becomes zero it means that to attain a critical frequency the refractive index must be equal to zero that is mu equal to sin theta by sin r equal to square root of 1 minus 81 nm by fc square will be equivalent to zero on calculation we will be getting fc that critical frequency will be equivalent to 9 into square root of nm which means that critical frequency always depends upon maximum electron density so it is also been concerned here with the angle of incidence if the angle of incidence is more than the maximum refractive index then we will be having the formula as sin i greater than square root of 1 minus 81 nm by f square in terms of normal frequency and to have a relation with critical frequency we can rewrite that expression as greater than square root of 1 minus fc square by f square so here fc is directly taken as 81 nm by f square this is the concept related to the critical frequency thank you